the bruh what it goddamn be bruh it is scorpion red tarot i am back at it one time for the one time yes indeed to let you guys know what the energy is surrounding you for the month of february yes indeed for february oh girl, girl. yes ma'am all right so shout out to all my ogs shout out to all my newbies shout out to everyone that clicked this video to chill with mira she revira yes indeed with scorpion red tarot what's up to all my babies thank you again to everyone um who's been liking sharing and subscribing i want to give a big shout out to my babies y'all have sent me some books okay y'all sent me the mercury retrograde book and that is right in time because ain't that coming right on up honey yes indeed and then also the moonology deck which i've already gotten to reading this so um as well as the majority of the decks here have been donated to the channel by you guys through the Amazon wish list. So thank you guys again for all of your love and support and the donations through Cash App, through PayPal, for all of the bookings. If anyone wants to book with me, only thing you need to do is click the About tab. You have my um, my pricing list. And um, make sure you send me a message on Instagram. If you don't have Instagram, you can always connect with me on Google Hangouts. It's an easy app to download. Only thing you need to exchange is our email which is scorpionreds at gmail.com and all of that information is on the about tab all right so again um if you guys have any questions like i said just send me a message on instagram or just email me and again thank you guys for all of the support and love libra let's get into the prayer my dear all right father god thank you so much for bringing us here abundantly and blessfully today father god blessed be we wake up with our head held high father god feeling tall feeling proud feeling a lot of strength a lot of you know courage in our chest father god we are trudging ahead we are like taking over we ain't finished our takeover okay libra said we ain't finished our takeover we still taking over okay all right we we living in the blessed abundance of the, the Show, show the money, show me the money season, all right, that, 20, that 2020 show me the money season, but we still taking over, all right, so Father God, continue to give us guidance for, you know, what's coming ahead, so we can just stay focused and stay on our path, Father God, um, thank you so much for lifting us and gifting us with the blessed day of every day, the freedom to just move about and just to, you know, live again, Father God. We thank you so much for that. Um, please give us clarity to any type of thoughts that might be going on in our mind that we might have questions about. Um, allow, allow us to continue to build our connection with you and, and focus on growing that inner strength so we can um, start paying attention to the signs a little bit more and being able to understand and decipher more of these messages ourselves. So Father God, thank you so much. Please give us guidance for Libra for February. Thank you for today and every day. We pray. Amen. Yes, God. Let's get into this. Yeah, yay. All right. All right. All right. All right. Let's get, let's get, hold on. Okay. Okay. Hold on. I'm going to reshuffle because hold on. All right. All right. Give me guidance for Libra. That's meant to be to come back out. Give me guidance for Libra, please, for February. All right. All right. That's it. All right. So let's see. Let's see. So this says freedom. Freedom. It says there is nothing stopping you. The path is clear if you want it to be. Freedom. All right. Then we got let there be closeness between you, but always give each other space. Love never claims. It simply allows and gives. All right. All right. So there's nothing stopping you from a free and a clear path. If you truly want it to be. Whoever that you're dealing with right now, let there be closeness, but let there be space too. I feel like you guys need a little bit of space to decide what it is that you really want to do because I feel like even though that you want to place claims on each other, you you can't claim each other. It got to naturally come together and just be what it's going to be naturally. With, without that, it's nothing. You know, so love never claims. It simply allows and gives. So if that's what it's going to be. Give freedom 
give space and allow it to naturally bond and be what it's going to be. Allow it to give and be naturally, you know. So you can't place no claim over nobody. Nobody can't place no claim over you because it looks like Libra is expressing the need for freedom. It says, life is a series of constantly shifting cycles. When we resist change, we resist the natural flow of life and we create unnecessary stress. Go with the flow. You will be surprised where it leads. Sometimes we just got to let things, we just got to walk away from things with our head held high sometimes. All right. Sometimes you got to walk away with your head held high sometimes and let there be closeness between you, but also give certain things space sometimes. You know, when you resist the natural change, you mess up the flow of things, you know, and you create unnecessary stress. It says, when we pass from this world, you take nothing with you but your soul and the memories you have shared with those that you love. So, it's like, create good memories. It's like, life is too short. Okay, this is what I'm getting. Life is too short to be trapped in a situation where there's a lot of confusion, there's a lot of stress, there's a lot of pain, there's a lot of suffering. Like... Walk away sometimes with your head held high and allow yourself the actual freedom and the joy of happiness. Because when you pass from this earth, the only thing that you take from you, take from here is your soul and your memories. So if you keep yourself trapped in a situation where it's nothing but bad memories, do you understand? You have no one to blame but your, yourself. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't try to hold on to something just for the sake of holding on to things. Sometimes things need to change. Allow there to be freedom right now. It looks like you need to allow there to be freedom. And don't fight. Don't don't fight the necessary flow of freedom. Because it just seems like it's going to happen regardless here. So let's see what we got going on for our Libras. Okay. That's why I'm feeling like, like y'all ain't done taking all this. Like I'm, 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 I'm claiming freedom. You know. I'm just treasuring it here. Head held high. So give me go. Okay. What is this? The four swords in the reverse. So this is a situation where I do feel like someone was kind of feeling like they were being forced to do something that they really didn't want to do. Um... You kind of see this a little bit. You see how this man is kind of like hovering over top of her, trying to force her mouth open and just like, I feel like someone was a little bit too forward. Someone was a little bit too aggressive and, and you guys had to do this retreat a little bit. You know what I'm saying? And separate yourself. This separation already happened. So I don't know if you guys have been taking a little bit of space I don't think it's been that long it might have just been 48 hours or something like that but I feel like you had to take a couple of hours or something to yourself to think about how you feel about kind of what is being placed before you or what's being kind of put on you a little bit and want to and you're thinking about do do I want to continue to be treated that way or be dealt with that way it's like the way that this man Look at this man. It's like the way that this man is carrying on with the way that he is requesting the things that he It's just I don't like his energy. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like maybe at first it was cute, but like after a while, it's like maybe I don't I don't want to be dealing with this like this <laughs> like you knew is did this not something i can see myself doing forever the seven of wands it's like even though there's a lot of sexual chemistry there and there is that connection and everything there's still a lot of conflict and things like it's still things that you felt like were possibly going on behind your back there might have been some gossip there might have been um some arguments um i feel like there was a lot of uh passionate arguments that turn into a lot of passionate sex but it's like at the end of the day I don't it's like you feel like you're being seduced or something like that to kind of it's like you're kind of being seduced to and forced into like maybe a commitment or something it's like 
that you're not sure that you want to be in or something and it's like I needed to separate myself for a second and to find out exactly what I want and it's like when, now that I took this time to evaluate the situation like I, I think I want freedom you know like if this is going to be what it's going to be it's going to come back together naturally but Mm -mm. It's just, it's mm -mm -mm. when I leave this earth, I want to make sure that I have good energy and I had good memories and that I enjoyed myself. Like, it's it's like, aside from the sex, I feel like it's something more deeper. It's something more that meets the eye in regards to this person that they're not leading on to. And I feel like maybe you should talk around and ask about this person because I don't feel like it's anything screaming on this card right here that, that there is conflict and in trouble but this is still the seven of wands goddamn card do you understand what I'm saying that means that there is some shit that's going on and you see the chameleon right there I feel like this person is a chameleon like this person is a trickster this person is I, I, Cause I don't like, I don't like the way he, like, don't be standing over me trying to open up my mouth and do all, like, what you doing? What the fuck is you doing? I don't know what the fuck type of kinky ass, weird ass type of shit. Give me guidance. Now we got the five of fucking pinnacles in the reverse. That's good. I feel like you guys will come through, it's not I feel like, you guys have basically got over, like, a very hard period in your life, basically, like, the hardship is over, like, you guys are, you don't have no sense of failure, no sense of regret, no sense of anything, like, low, like, everything that you've gone through in your life, like, you've learned a very valuable lesson, um, and you've been able to apply it in your life in a very positive way that, you know, turns out to be lucrative for you. I feel like financially, like, things are on the up for you. You guys are, like, doing good for yourself, you know. You guys are feeling healthy and everything. But I feel like it's somebody in your environment that is trying to kind of, I feel like they're trying to force themselves on you. And they are, what is this, the page of the... The page of chalice and then the death card. Mm. So it's like someone you see, and you very much so might have somebody else that you're more you feel is more suitable to talk to, and that this person isn't because it's the way that this person is coming at you, and you just it's like you're very alluring and everything, but I just don't believe you. It's something about you that. You come off. It's like I don't believe you're not night. Uh, uh, how do you say it? Night naivety. Naive. Uh, like this motherfucker trying to be naive. I can't say. I can never say that. Like this person trying to act like they naive and they're just innocent and just all of this stuff like that. But it's like they're really, really not. It's like, oh, I want to get down into the deep. I want to find out what the hell is going on with this person. Son. What is going on with this person? And you're going to send a message to this person and you're just going to tell them that you don't really want to be with them no more. That you're ending it with this death card. That you're severing this shit. You want. To, you don't want to deal with this person. And this person is going to be upset. Like this person is going to be upset. And it's also. It's like. They think that you are out moonlighting with someone else. Like they think that you're out moonlighting with someone else. And that's why you're cutting them out. And that's why you don't want to talk to them. And then the page of swords is like this right here. Like this person could be stalking you and be watching you and stuff like that. It's like trying to find out who else you're with. Because this person, they, they think that you're off in the moonlight, you know. With this other person. And that's why you're not answering their messages. Or something like that. But for some reason. You really do look at this person like. Number one. You're not as naive and immature. I mean. You're immature. But you're not as naive and innocent. And gullible as you make yourself out to be. And maybe. Maybe the, the, the fact that the person. Make themselves seem like they were so. 
I don't know, like you was a simp or something like that. I don't know, like this person was acting like they was a simp or something. And this person, like, I need a man, you know? I need a man. I need a man. I, and then y'all just told me, like, when this person texts you, like, they text you in, like, slang or something or not complete sentences. Like, they, uh, like, in some type of slang or something that you, like, you're too immature. Like, I, you know, like, I don't know. It was irritating to the Libra. It's just, like, I don't, I don't, talk, like, you're not no little boy. Like, you're a grown-ass man. Why are you talking and texting me, like... I don't know, and it was very aggressive, very forceful, and everything like that. And uh, I don't know. Let me see. I want to get this other deck to see what's going on, y'all. Cause mm, mm, mm. Ah, ah, ah. let's see what's going on over here. I got the Gypsy Oracle deck, which was donated by you guys through the Amazon wish list. So thank you guys so so very much. Thank you so, so very much. Let's see what the hell is going on with this stalker over here. Because it's like you definitely ended this situation. Like, you don't want to deal with this. But I kind of, I mean, it's, it says freedom, like, off the rip. Like, this person is still watching. Give me guidance about this page of cups. Miss. Page of Swords. Energy with this person. Give me guidance about this person. What's up with this person? What's this person's tea? Page of Cups, please. Okay, so you got Pleasure Seeker. Yeah, it's like you already, like, like you just a fun boy. Like, you just, like, it's something about this person where they were very immature in a way that they kind of like to really hang out in the streets and like kind of like to do the little street game and things like that. And you weren't really impressed by that shit. Like you too grown for that thoughts. So it's like only thing this person really think about is like hanging out, having a fun time, not like, I don't really feel like building a relationship, I really don't feel like this person had a very pleasant reputation, like I'm trying to tell you, I feel like if you ask about this person, like, they're represent, the way that they're representing themselves to you versus what is said on the streets about them is contradictory, and you can tell that all rip by the way that they act. Like, you act like, like, you know, you come off like you a little immature, like you still ain't done hanging out in the streets and shit like that. Paige is someone that's not grown. And what is this? Conversations. Like, you see how this man is sitting there having his conversations with all of these ladies and things like that? Like, yeah, like, you just, like, you're just a pleasure chic seeker. Like, only thing you kind of think about is, like, being in conversations and being in the pleasure of a whole bunch of different ladies and things like that. And, like, that's what I'm saying with that seven of wands right there. It was more than what meets the eye right there. Like, this person is a... Seduce. Give me guidance on the Seven of Wands, please. Because I know I'm not tripping. Seven of Wands, please. Clarity. It's on the Seven of Wands for my Libra. This person. Ooh, the doctor, baby. Ooh, Lord, baby. Ooh, they're going to tell you, baby, don't fuck with him. You might need to go to the doctor messing with this person. Ooh, this person has, like... And, you know, the Seven of Wands. You know, Wands does represent, like action like sexual energy sexual action like that can mean like arguments fights competition and stuff like that it can mean that this person could very much so have several partners and you might end up having to go to the doctor behind this person it says that this person was a pleasure seeker what does it says despair yeah, it's like, child, you're going to end up going, end up having to go to the doctor. And you're going to be in fucking despair, honey, by what you find out, honey. And then money. So it's like, whatever the hell, whatever it is, uh, it's like, you're going to find out, like, if you ask 
about this person people want to tell you like you gonna need to go to the doctor and like just don't even deal with this person because you're gonna be in a whole bunch of despair and this person might be dealing with you because of your money you know and your finances and things like that this person might be a lover boy or just might have several people where always going to keep you in some type of uh conflict do you understand it's going this person is a pleasure th seeker only thing this person thinks about is conversations and being in company of like multiple women doesn't this look like several different women it looks like several several different women to me you understand but at the same time this person is worried about you moonlighting with someone else you know give me guidance right here on this death card What's, what say you, Jeff Carr? What say you, baby? What she say? Servant. She said, uh huh, I'm ending. I'm not going about, I'm not about to sit here and be no servant to this motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Like, no. Tell me why you pulled that Jeff card out on this and you ended this. She said, no, ma'am. Uh uh. Reunion. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. Mm mm. I will not be reuniting with anyone where I feel like I'm going to be in complete servitude. Where people think I'm just going to sit here and just like uh, cater to them and just to answer to their every beck and need and their call and things like that. And that's the reason why this person kind of wants this reunion and wants this connection and things like that. They're not, they haven't grown and no matter what they say, you know what I'm saying? Because listen, you see this person keep trying to write shit and don't really know what to say because you're still immature, you know? You're still immature. You don't know really what to fucking say to make things right or whatever or to, to make someone think something different. You're a pleasure seeker. Only thing you have thoughts of is, 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 trying to find, follow the trend. I don't know if they're, if they're boys or something like that. And it's like, I'm not going to continue to serve and aid and abide by that. Do you understand what I'm saying? Like, this reunion here is not something that's on the table. That is what's being cut out. Like, going to continue to serve this. And, yeah. This is the enemy. The death card said this is the enemy. That's why I motherfucking got this out of here. This is the enemy. Okay? I would not be a servant to this person that wants to come back into my life or wants me to continue to try to fix something. There will be no ashes to ashes, dust to dust, baby. I look at you as the enemy. You ain't nothing but a pleasure seeker. And I'm not about, I'm not about to end up in no goddamn fist fights and no uh, turmoil and confusion and chaos with you because you want to continue to be out there doing whatever the hell God knows what you're doing. All right? I ain't about to end up in no doctor with no goddamn disease. And I damn sure ain't going to be up late at night about, you know, to in despair. You know, when I should be focusing on my money. And you probably only reason why you really choose me is because I got more money than the rest of these hoes. And that's not what we about to do, nigga. You the motherfucking enemy, okay? Dog. You understand? Dog. Faithfulness is must be something that this person does not possess. Pleasure seeker. I need faithfulness. This is the enemy of faithfulness. This person does not possess faithfulness. Do you understand what I'm saying? This person doesn't have any loyalty in them. You understand? So this person is the complete opposite of that. So it's just like, why would I even serve and even pay attention and give to the thought of a reunion with someone that I consider the enemy and ain't nothing but a loyal dog. You understand what I'm saying? That's what you are. A loyal dog. Okay? A dog. Alright? So let's get into this uh, page of swords over here. Let's find out why this person all looking at your booty all online. Look at this person. God damn. Motherfucker all up in your bushes and shit trying to find out what the hell's going on with the booty. Okay? The booty. Look, this person is still hoping. Okay, praying and wishing that they can motherfucking get from behind the screen and actually get in between that booty. Consistency. They know that they, with you that there's a lot of consistency there. I told you in cheerfulness. I told you because your ass got money and your ass is together. But it says malady. 
So malady right here. This represents stress. This represents sickness. This represents like aching. This represents not being able to get out of the bed. Like, and this can represent, bitch. This can, oh no, God. Mm -mm, this could represent some type of goddamn disease. It surely can. Look at the medicine over there on the uh on the counter. Motherfucker sick. Got some type of illness or something like girlfriend. No, ma'am. It's like this person wants, it's like hoping, it's like watching you because it's like they hoping that they can get back and repair things with you because they know that there's consistency there. Look, it look like the damn law or the bank and all of this stuff. Look, all of this, like all of this is consistency there. And it's a more happier environment and I feel like that's a it's a more consistent and stable environment for this person throughout their sickness and like I feel like this person knows that for one thing for sure it's the Scorpio the Scorpio represents loyalty. You know? You gotta be loyal. If you're not gonna be loyal, if you're not gonna be truthful, if you're not gonna be honorable, don't even come around no Scorpio because look, off off with your head. Off with your head, okay? That's why that represents the death card. Scorpio don't play. Off with your head. We don't even play no games like that. We don't even play like that. But at the same time, you know, that enemy and uh, 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 that enemy knows. And I don't know if you guys are like a Libra Scorpio Cusper or something like that. They know that you still got that very close energy connected to that water energy with that Scorpio sign right there. That you still have that very nurturing, very like very kind of homebody nurturing type of element to you where you really know how to take care and you know with that Libra you know what to do you know what's wrong you know this person like that's that's what I'm getting here and I want to say like I feel like somebody got some type of something somebody got something or somebody is sick I don't know if someone is just sick but someone bitch is sick and I feel like if you you gonna end up having to go to the doctor if you keep on fucking around with this motherfucker. Like, that's what I'm doing. Like, mm-mm. Because -mm. it said right off the back, the doctor, girl. No, ma'am. Past life relationship. Yes, this is someone from your past, honey. This is definitely someone from your past, baby. You need to just go ahead and let that go. Because it look like they letting themselves go. Look, deception. Deception. Chow, girl. Flirt. So, and then, what is this worth waiting for? So, and I'm going to put these back the way that they came out. It was a past life relationship. This person won't stop, be deceptive, and stop flirting with other people. I mean, that's basically what I'm getting. And true love is worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. True love, true love is worth waiting for, Libra. You know what I'm saying? And I don't even have to tell you because you already called the death card out there. You said that you are calling for freedom. Like, you don't have time to deal with this shit. This is the same bullshit I've been dealing with in my past, and I'm not even going to do that. And it says, let your friends help you. I feel like you might not have been letting your friends help you because I don't. So I, some of y'all don't trust your friends. You know what I'm saying? Because they are, are not making the necessary steps that they need to be making in situation in their life so it's like why I talk to someone that don't even have the strength with this death card here to pull to pull off what I'm about to do cuz I'm not like I just like I'm hearing Janae Aiko I done been through worse than you I can't keep running away like I can't keep running away from this freedom like I know that this freedom is calling me like I know what I need to do you know I know what I need to do I need to let there be some space here. I got to cut this shit out because I'm not about to end up having to go to the doctor behind this motherfucker. And that's just straight like that. What's this here? Look, the return. Someone is like really pulling on you calling for a return, baby. Oh my goodness. Give me guidance about this love situation for Libras. Child. What the... The fifth dimension, I, it, and it came out in a reverse. Like, I just feel like there's no, 
even though that you know that there's this past like element there, like there's really no real connection. The free will is in the reverse. I, someone is not demonstrating the free will that they should. Like if it's like, if you really do feel like this is a path, like the connection and and I feel like this is someone that is is perpetrating a fraud. It's like no, like you know, we're spiritually connected and we're we're so. Uh, you know talking all that spiritual shit and we're supposed to be with each other and I see you in my dreams and all, and all that shit be some fucking lies and bullshit you know what I'm saying and it's like all that bullshit that they talking they're not doing they're not using the free will that they should be doing to show you the action behind all of that bullshit that they popping you know what I'm saying like that's why this situation is on pause right here you know and like someone's begging for a return, but it's like only thing they doing is popping bullshit and they not doing nothing. You know what I'm saying? Like you have your free will to do what you want to do. And I don't know if this is someone that you have a family with already, but it's like either you already have a family with this person or they have a family. Understanding and then the guy. So it's like I want to say that you already have a family. It's like that you already, I feel like you already have a sense of family and happiness. I don't know if this is someone where it's like, I feel like this is someone um, that might be, this might be your, your kid's mother or your, your kid's father. But I feel like as long as your family dynamic is cool. I don't think that you really care about a return in regards to a love dynamic with this person. Like if this is someone that you have kids with because you know that true love is worth waiting for. And it's like you waiting for real true love to come into your life. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to be engaged with someone that won't stop being deceptive and stop flirting and just want no I don't want to do all of that stuff like that it's like there's no level of guidance that's going to help like <laughs> help this person to see what I need them to be in order for me to allow them to return into my life you understand it's like I really don't need a guide or I don't want a guide you know I just want this person to be there for their family or as long as I got my family, you know, if this is someone that has a relationship outside of their children's father, they're like, man, as long as me and my children's father are cool and we can co-parent and me and that motherfucker getting along, anybody else, like, I don't give a shit about y'all. You know what I'm saying? Because as long as my kids is good and me and this motherfucker could co-parent and ain't shit getting in the way of that family dynamic, anything else is, like, not even important to me. And I don't really want no guidance about how to know. Like, if you're not going to listen, I told you 2020 and show me the money energy. Ever you going to show me by you demonstrating your free will. Or this shit just gonna stay on. This shit gonna stay on pause. It's gonna stay where the fuck it's at. You know what I'm saying? Because that's something that Libra has come to full understanding about. Like, I don't need guidance. Do you understand what I'm saying? Like, I don't need to see shit. This motherfucker needs to see this shit in order to return back into my life. You know what I'm saying? And right now, Libra is calling for freedom. It's like, I, I'm still asking for freedom. Because you're not really showing me a level of maturity that is demonstrating to me that you still not out here hoeing. And that I won't end up in the hospital with a motherfucking disease, bitch. Like, what you trying to say? Bitch, I don't need no guidance to see that shit, bitch. You need to turn the light on, bitch. Clap on. Clap off the clapper, bitch. Okay? Fuck wrong with you. Get on out of here. Bye. Absolutely fucking bad. Child letting the goddamn return. Boy, bye. Fucking bye. Okay? Let there be space right now, okay? There's a series of shifting cycles and stuff, bitch. When you reject cycles, it's like you re you rejecting God, little nigga. Go on and be at peace with yourself and leave me the fuck alone. Stop sitting up here lying. I've seen you in my dreams. And this is, you stop fucking lying. You know, stop fucking lying, my nigga. It's like that shit. If you seen all that shit, bitch, you would have bought your ass over here. What is this saying? A fucking enemy card. God damn it. Is this the enemy card again? Shit. 
This motherfucker is the enemy. Like, you do not trust this motherfucker. A dark hair man. Ciao. And a blonde woman. Ciao. Cheese. Let me read this Carter Macy chat. You said this motherfucker here is a goddamn troublemaker with that jack of spades. Like a jack of spades is someone. Like I told you that it's a street person. This person like to hang out in the streets and just do nothing all day and cause trouble and just like even the way their means of money and their way of lifestyle and stuff is just underhanded with this enemy card right here and with this uh six of clubs this six of clubs basically represents someone that is recognizing that something is not working out for me here and i'm about to change locations to where i work at um how i do business how i'm operating with you because i don't trust you do you understand what i'm saying with that enemy card all right and what is that the six uh, the eight of hearts the eight of hearts represent whoever this blonde person is this person has some type of mutual like connection some type of energy with this person they could be talking to some older woman she could be anywhere from around 43 to 47 like i don't know but like this is like some older woman you know and like, I really do feel like this woman need to watch out because this is this motherfucker's next victim and shit like that. And little do this bitch even fucking know. You know what I'm saying? But, like, yeah, like, this person is not cool. This person is not cool. And ain't talking to some little blonde old, older woman. Some blondes. But you already look at this person as an enemy and you already about to change the way you working with this person. If you have to work with this person at all, do you understand? Because you already... You already see this person for who they are. And I, and you might already know about this blonde woman as well. And you're just like, man, I don't give a fuck about that bitch. What is this as? Um, what is this? Infantism? And what is this? Is this a nine of space? Is this a nine? No, this is a ten of space. So, like, this is basically saying that this person is childish that you're dealing with. Like, you're not going to continue to, like, aid in the bed and uh, aid in the bed them. You're not going to continue to take care of them and just, like, feed into their childish tendencies and, like, immature ways. Like, this person needs to grow up. And it's like... Don't nobody give a fuck about your childhood, what happened to you, this, like, I'm not going to say that, but, like, listen, don't nobody care about what happened to you, my nigga. Do you understand? It does not give you the right to carry on the way that you do and wreak habit in other people's fucking life or to use your past and your childhood to make excuses for your behavior and why you carry on the way that you do. You know what I'm saying? So, like, this is, like... Someone like crying over spilled milk because like they're having to figure out what they're going to have to do now because they're realizing that this is the actual end. Like this is the destruction. This is like the finality. This is the ending. This is the fate. You know what I'm saying? That someone might not be mature to handle and take the responsibilities of their actions with that number eight. That's that as above, so below. What you put out, you get right back. So like this is someone that with their childish mindset thought that with all of the bullshit that they were doing that the, the shit would never come back to them like they would never have to face the day where they were going to have to face karma do you understand what i'm saying so um what is this here this is the journey and i was in the reverse and i normally don't read these cards in the reverse but i am going to read these cards in the reverse for this one i feel like the journey is over um in regards and if this is someone that maybe has been using children to use some type of way of manipulation and control um those days are over as well we got the ten of spades and then we got the ten of goddamn diamonds so that's basically telling me that the journey is over in that situation with this childish behavior but a new one has basically started listen they're leaving the other person behind with the baggage to carry that load, baby. You take all that stress and all that shit. You take your own energy back. And I'm about to skip ahead, all right? And I'm carrying myself. Like, only thing I'm carrying is my jacket and me, myself, and I. That's all I got in the end, motherfucker. Do you understand what I'm saying? You're not about to, mm, mm No, 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 no. I've learned a very valuable lesson, okay? And this person is saying, by the time I get, reach the age of 50... Okay, my life is going to be exactly where the fuck I want it to be because I don't know. I'm feeling like these are somebody I'm getting 43, 47. Maybe I got a child that's 12 years old between the ages of 8 and 12 together. 
And it's like by my 50th birthday, like this whole joy, this whole journey, this whole voyage and everything that I've been going through and things like that. I'm about to show up and show out on my 50th birthday because I've come through a whole lot, you know. And then and I just heard someone just said I just left that motherfucker in the dust. You sure did. What is it saying? Chattering right here. This is again the number nine. So this is like people running their mouth and talking shit about like. People are gossiping about your behavior. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if you did something, Libra. I think you did something. The seven of diamonds. <laughs> hey, Mo. The seven of diamonds. The seven of diamonds kind of represents like a lucky money win or like a payout, a financial um income increase like you could have got like uh it could mean like a wallet or a check or something like that i don't <laughs> i don't know if like um I don't know if you stole someone's wallet or stole someone's pay, uh, uh, check return or some shit like that or something like that. <laughs> I feel like, because Libra, y'all will go and do some petty ass shit like y'all funny as fuck, bro. Y'all funny as fuck. Yeah, do you understand? And I'm trying to tell you, it's like you leaving someone behind with some baggage and you walking away with these ten of diamonds. Like, I don't know if someone about to get robbed on the low or some shit like that, but I feel like Libra is the one, because Libra going to clean up before they walk on out. Like, you think I'm about to play with you? I'm not playing with you. You see how these ladies cleaning up? You understand what I'm saying? Like, I'm cleaning all the way up. Listen, I don't know if you sitting up there talking with your old little friends, how you about to clean up on a hoe or some shit like that. And then you got this angry car. Is this angry? anger you got the anger card but it's in the reverse because you was like man i ain't even mad no more i'm just trying to clean the fuck up i'm just trying to take this money and cash the fuck out do you understand because i'm about to, i'm done with this childish ass shit i'm done with this childish ass shit like i am done boop done with this childish ass shit let me be the one to tell you the eight of <laughs> confirmation the eight of clubs basically represents let me put this up here the eight of clubs basically represents someone putting hard work in to get over their anger to get over it's like because I, I, I they're not about to pull me down to their level with this childish bullshit because i'm not about to continue to take care and aid in the bed this ain't no rest haven for hoes i don't got no time for you beloved i promise you bruh and i promise you if i gotta work hard and do it and, instead of me using this anger to just let off steam let me use it to be fueled to make sure that i clean up and i get every motherfucking diamond cent and penny from this motherfucker that i can get so i don't know like and you plotting with somebody on this shit with this here, with this here, this chattering. Oh, baby, listen, you, 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 you talking and you gossiping. And you, and y'all talk about, oh, yeah, oh, baby, you about to clean right the fuck on up with that ten of diamonds behind that shit. You said, ain't no point of me sitting up there being angry. And I feel like this is what your girlfriend is telling. Girl, don't be angry, girl, don't be angry. And, <laughs> hey, Slim. Ooh, y'all so petty. Ooh, y'all petty. <laughs> no wonder why all this shit came out in the reverse your friends like baby just go on over here and continue to flatter that person don't listen you get more honey you get more bees with honey or something you understand like it's like your friend is trying to tell you like stop being angry you understand because you're not getting anywhere being angry listen you see how your friend is trying to tell you listen we trying to get to this money right we try to get to this money. Right, bitch? Right. You not going to get nowhere. Look, look, two birds chattering. You not going to get nowhere coming at a motherfucker, okay, angry, bitter, Betty. Listen, eight of, eight of goddamn clubs, you got to work on that. You got to work on your anger, bitch, okay? Listen, how old are you, 10? How old are you, 10? You need, you need to control that shit. You need to get over that shit. You already know, 10s represent endings. You need to end that shit. Get over that shit. I need you to motherfucking spruce yourself up, bitch. Because we need to put in all that motherfucking work. Because we going to clean. Bitch, when I'm talking. Bitch, we going to Hawaii, bitch. We going to Venice Beach, bitch. Listen. 
We going to the Poconos, okay, girl? Listen, y'all making plans on vacations and shit that y'all about to do with this here money. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, you like, bitch, I'm about to leave this motherfucker back there with all that baggage and I'm about to clean up. You see you back there, you, you, you. I'm about to take all your money and whatever little fucking yes. Every time you get a bonus, mine. What? Fuck with me if you want to, bitch. I'm about to go on my journey, but it ain't going to be with you, bitch, but your money will be. Bitch, you better know me. You better know me, because you owe me, bitch. Because you owe me, bitch. Oh, because you owe me, bitch. No, 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 no. Let me get over this anger, bitch. Let me work on this, girl, because you know my girlfriend is right. She right. Let me come through and fa flatter and finesse this motherfucker and make this person think I'm their friend. Make this motherfucker think I'm a friend. Make this person think that we about to have this reconciliation, but I'm not. Listen, I'm coming through. Listen, you think I'm coming through, stupid bitch? No, I got you. Got listen. I got my strap on me, bitch. I got my strap on me, bitch. I am spiritually armored. I already know how to come at you. I already know how to come at you because listen, I'ma let you think that you getting what you want, bitch. You ain't getting nada. Nathan, Nathaniel, Nansford, nothing, nothing, bitch. You not getting nada, motherfucking thing. But I'ma finesse your motherfucking ass, cause guess what? I don't got me some. Listen, the five of goddamn, the five of the five. <laughs> The five of diamonds represents someone, and it's still, and I still pick it up in the reverse because it's meant to be like this. Because there's not going to be no re reconnection. The five of diamonds uh, is someone that recognizes the lessons that was trying to be taught to them from whatever they went through in the past. It's like I already learned. I already learned. As above, so below. I recognize the lesson. I recognize the blessing. I would. I, I listen. This is you even getting spiritual guidance from your spiritual guides. It's like I understand and I learned everything that was meant for me to learn throughout this situation. I'm going to play cute right now. You understand? And make this person think. I'm not telling them. I'm not assuring them. I'm not giving them any type of okay on anything about us getting back together at all. Fact. Let that be known. But I'm going to keep that shit cute and I'm going to keep myself armored because I already know what I'm getting myself to and I already know how to approach this motherfucker. Only thing I'm going to do is keep this motherfucker on friend terms with me so I can motherfucker send them this goddamn communication that they ass is not going to be happy about. Do you understand me? Oh, because listen, there's going to be a revelation. Do you understand it's going to bring some financial security into Libra's life that somebody ain't going to want to hear? Look, you see Libra delegating? Like, tell this motherfucker you're fired, okay? All right, all right. I don't want you in my life anymore. All right, so this is the end. So put that shit in writing. Tell that motherfucker don't come up to my house no more. This is restraining order. This is alimony. This is child support. This motherfucker broke my car. So this is a civil suit, okay? For all of this shit, last time this motherfucker was in my house, they came and destroyed a whole bunch of my shit. This motherfucker stole my computer. Here's pictures of my computer, and that was stolen. Here's the text messages. This motherfucker admitting to that shit. I'm suing this motherfucker for that, too. Like, oh, my God. When I'm talking about y'all, is Rack City, bitch. Rack, Rack City. <laughs> like, you are not playing. Go tell this motherfucker I said it. No, I said No, and put that in there, too. Cause that motherfucker owe me that. You sure, ma'am? Yes, motherfucker. You heard what I said the first time. Put that shit in there. Fuck wrong with you. Okay? You think I'm about to play with you about my money? About my financial security? Boy, bye. Okay, so y'all... <laughs> Listen, I'm not fucking with y'all. I'm not fucking with y'all because y'all and y'all friends. You say, yes, bitch, I do hood rat shit with my hood rat friends and we clean up. We rack city bitches, okay? Rack city, bitch. Rack, rack city. I'm not about to sit here and keep playing with y'all, bitch. When I said, when is this sin, okay? When this first car came out and said, honey, that I was arching my back and I was about to raise up some hell because I'm about to give me a stack. And I said, I'm, uh, okay, desiring freedom. You think I was playing with you? 
Girl, no. When, when you seen that death card hit there, you thought I was playing with you, girl? No. No, 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 no. Hell no, we don't go. Honey, we did dumb shit back in 18, baby. We did dumb shit back in 17, baby. We don't do this shit in 2020. Show me the money season. Girl, it's 2020. Show me the money season for a reason. Let me show you who this is. This is Libra in this bitch, okay? Libra, what it be, bro? Y'all show them how you motherfucking wreck shit, okay? You rock city, bitches. I'm not fucking with y'all. I love y'all. <laughs> I love Love my Libras. Rack City bitches. We out. Y'all hit the like button.